Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm in my garden at the moment, letting my dog Kinu to ease himself, to wee and poo. At the same time, I'm checking on my corn that I planned four months ago. Unfortunately, there's only one that survived. The rest have been, have been eaten by slugs. But I'm chuffed. I'm happy with one. At the same time, I'm also looking at the figs that I have. Usually stolen by swampers birds and they eat the ripe ones. Look at them. And also, I managed to pick through there is a pigeon trying to steal the one that I wanted and managed to survive. That's the one. But without further ado, let's carry on with the drawings I'm going to show you. In this video, I'm going to share how to draw symmetrical staircases with the side views without the vanishing points. Started with the rectangular side front views with the cubic form of this rectangular, with starting with the verticals and the of course the horizontals, one side further down, one side side the front. Then it's divided into the central point to find another central point for uh, the elongated side views, just like this. And of course, I add another cubic at the front as this, slightly lower. And again, find a start in center point of that, using the center point as a starting point and divide them into another starting uh, center point repeat the same process that is the place the best way to find the uh, uh, vanishing point without the vanishing point just like this divide them to divide them again just like this and of course carry on these lines will then be the reference to the stairs now i divide them like this to find the landing on the other end then create the diagonal lines just like this and on the other side that's it. with the way where not the where the diagonal line crossing the horizontal line that will be the top of the stair like this now i start with the vertical line where it cross the where the collides i as a starting point to create a vertical line just like this And the end, the top on the crossing line, and the bottom is on where the horizontal lines are, just like that. This drawing is not in scales, but it is the right principle, the right method how to draw these uh, symmetrical staircases, perspective views, side views without the vanishing points, using the uh, central line to divide. The pattern the, the the shape the form to as a reference to the vanishing point to indicate the perspective views of this staircases just like that on this case it has to be purely using eye measurement eye observation find the center point on the other side just like that because the top of that side is going down diagonal and now to clear this reference of the beginning of my vertical line i then add more of the horizontal line just like that the center point the center point on the below another center point and the, the the same principle repeat the same techniques now find the context of that of this uh, staircase that at the top as suppose this uh, staircase is, is uh, erected against uh, another wall so it's not just a piece of sculpture but more of a stairs against the wall Uh, 
I like to use this uh, arch uh, opening because arch is look nice for this kind of staircases, symmetrical staircases. At the same time, is uh, realistically arch is the structure to support this weight before lintel was introduced. This arches is not just a decorative thing, but it's more of a sculpture uh, a structure. Now adding more detail on below, more of a, like the columns, uh, square columns, uh, rest, uh, the, the main structure to carry these staircases with the arches. And at the same time, you know, also giving the sense of depth, the thickness of this uh, structure. And of course, identi 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 identical to the opposite, just like this, to create a sense of a symmetrical facade of these uh, staircases. The moment is I'm adding as much information as possible to line using line drawings. So using the existing lines that I did at the beginning, then become the reference. See reference of my drawings so the how high that arch top in relation to the one on the other side now the next step of course i'm going to add hatching hatch on it to show the texture of this uh, this staircases rather than just blank line and white paper to start with to add a bit of a hatch gently, I repeat the same process to show where the shadow will be, where the light coming from and the shadow by indicating the, the shadow of this, uh, by using hatch to indicate the shadow that will cause the, the directly indicating the, the sense of orientation of the structure in term in relation to the light rather than just a flat drawings more darker much darker as it below which is much the shadow from above uh, the, the shadow from the light that coming from above this with that darker hatches uh, that will give the sense of depth as well the 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 void underneath the stairs just like this it is a uh, to me it is a uh, useful to gently pressing my pen but rather repeat the same process if needed gently pressing the uh, the paint on the paper where needed now this wall by doing that they accentuate the staircases above to give a sense of contrast where the light is directly on the staircases and that flat wall is sense of a slightly a bit of a shed, shadow there that we accentuate to bring that still out more and again, give up uh, by adding a bit of shadow and below the column, they give a sense of space underneath the stairs rather than just black, uh, completely dark hatch. Now I need to add more of this uh, hatch. The same process. If needed, it is important to take your eyes away from it and look again when needed to be more darker, just like this.
some people like to use a cross hatch at the moment I'm using only the one hatch vertical hatch just to make it simple clear drawing for now a bit more so, so give a sense of texture on that stairs just like that and of course one day the stair is a bit darker so I need, I need to make slightly darker than that on the line wall so the bit of contrast just like this I think I need to add more again hatch on that each one of them Yeah, I forgot about this line. This line, so it's related to correspond to the rest of the the, the line. Another one there, so it's not just we odd looking. In case I need it, in case I continue this drawing. Again, I need to add more because uh, I want to make these stairs closer. Uh, much impulsive contrast to the, the block of the wall behind another one there So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoy this, don't forget to subscribe, thank you very much.